The bow is another means of exciting the string. Now, unlike the pick and the hammer where we strike the string once and that's it and it resonates and oscillates and then ends, the idea of the bow is that we set the string in self-sustained oscillation. In other words, it keeps moving across the string and keeps it vibrating. And the force knob here adjusts the force with which the bow is applied to the string. And as you dial this up, it'll get really scratchy and almost distorted sounding. The friction between the bow and the string is set with this friction knob, and it's subtle, but it affects the tone of the bow on the string. So the friction between the bow and the string usually determines the length of the attack. So as we increase this, the faster the string is set in motion. And the velocity, as we've seen with the other exciters, is controlled by the velocity knob, and it controls the amplitude of the sound. Now I'm going to play you a guitar sound here, which is designed to be played with a pick, and then I'll move through the other exciters, and you'll hear the difference right away. So the difference is apparent. Now you can see in the part here, I have a wide range of notes and a wide range of velocities. So I'll adjust the force and you'll hear how it gets kind of scratchy and aggressive as we dial it too high. So this affects the attack. Now I'm gonna leave this around here and I'm gonna show you a couple of effects with velocity tracking. So again, note the discrepancies in the velocities and I'm gonna dial this kind of low and I'm gonna dial this kind of high and I'm gonna tweak it to the right values otherwise some notes will disappear. But the idea here is that the high velocities are gonna be bowed with greater force and get that scratchier kind of sound. So you hear the low notes less affected and the upper notes obviously in an exaggerated fashion, but just to demonstrate what it does. Now if I do the opposite and set this up high and this down low, we'll get the low velocity notes being bowed with the greater force. There we go. It's important to get the exact right values, otherwise some notes disappear. And the velocity controls will affect the amplitude. So that's the bow.